in this session we will learn how to install ubuntu in our system for this first step step you need to do download the ubuntu iso from the ubuntu website which version you want to install here i am installing 18.04 and uh, readily make it as an bootable dvd or pen drive and connect it to the installation of the system or if it is an iso where you are trying to installing with the vm you try to make it as an uh, first boot as an iso and start the mission it will initiate the once you have started the mission whether it may be bare metal or uh, source media installation it will starts with the process with the screen what we have observing right now now you will observe that the installation of the media we have uh, seen that first welcome screen here for the installation for installation you need to choose a language for the installation i am choosing english and hit enter and now it's done for english for the variant and layout click done at the ethernet port e enp 0s3 eth and dhcp it's a selected by defaultly and click done whether it may be vm or uh, bare metal it may differ of the internet port click done and the proxy address if any you can specify the proxy address or else leave it as in a blank click done and now you need to specify mirror address enter the details here if you are alternative mirrors if any or else done now you choose the partition to entire disk you want to still have a chance to review and modify the rescue items use an entire disk what is the hard disk i have given specified the 20 gb of capacity while configuring my vm i need to choose entire disk and if any you want to use an um, lvm partition of the disk choose the second option or you are in the master of the partitioning how to do the partitions choose the manual or else if you want to do any corrections what we have done earlier options go back okay here i am doing an entire disk automatically option and hit enter and the complete hard disk i am choosing here and hit enter now these are the activities are going to be done like local disk is on 21 gb it's a grub it's optioning 1 mb and uh, rest of the thing root it's going on 21.061 gb that's sufficient for me to continue the process hit done to continue the next step and here it's asking you to confirm the destructive action select continue below to begin the installation process it will be start the installation process from here if any data is there in it's available in your existing hard disk what you have giving to given a installation media it will be remains erased completely and it will be formatted for the confirmation it's asking are you sure if you want to continue click continue or else you click no and uh, do your appropriate actions hit enter to continue and uh, give us a uh, name of the user and uh, server's name what is the server you want to give like application server or um, database server likewise you have to do and uh, or else uh, organization name you can specify over here and choose the enter name enter the user name and uh, password I have a given uh, admin as a username and it says that uh, there is a reserved name of admin it's saying and admin one I am giving here all right once if it is done and you choose the password as you are wish to uh, maintain a user login and hit done to continue install open ssh by defaultly you require to connect from some other uh, using terminal or putty activities you need to install the open ssh by defaultly while installation hit done and now these are the packages it's saying that while installation if these are the if any package is selected while the installation it will go to install in your system now here i am selecting postgres sql 10 that latest version which is available to install with this system and uh, if you were wish if you you can either select the uh, installation of the package or later also you can install the packages at any time for the fast of the installation purpose i am uh, removing the package 
by selecting and click the space to select the installation package which one you want to install click done and uh, continue the process to installation if you want a full log it will be shows and uh, once if you have done the installation and it will be start the installation process now see here preparing for the installation and uh, running the installation steps configuring network and acquiring and extracting the image from the media what we have given the repository of ISO if you want to see click full view full log or else wait for a few minutes depends upon your system performance it will be complete the process of installation now you will see here the system is completed the installation of uh, our uh, selected packages the installation of open ssh the open ssh protocol which is going to install here and the resetting of apt configuration downloading and installation of the security updates the last step it's a uh, processing right now what we are seeing in the screen please be wait here while installation procedure if you want to skip the updates of uh, security updates you can also click the cancel button here and uh, continue the reboot the system and later levels also you can install the security updates at any time using the apt get command now we'll see i'm hitting the cancel and update the machine will reboot now as you observe the steps one by one now i hit the cancellation of the updates it will cancel and while uh, whenever you require to have an uh, installation procedure of that uh, updates using apt get space update to you will get the all the updates which are uh, updatedly available in the repository of ubuntu now here the system is uh, cancelling updates and it's preparing for rebooting once if it is done your mission will reboot once whenever the system is initiated as a reboot you need you need to if you are installing from cd dvd you need to remove the cd or dvd or using connected pen drive or pen drive stick any external media source you need to disconnect that media and uh, make it as an, a first boot device as from hard drive and uh, start the system to welcome screen the first booting initiation from your ubuntu system now the installation procedure last step we have reached till now and here you need to remove the installation media of uh, first boot device and press enter Yeah, hit enter now this is the VM I am stopping here my here I am removing disconnect my first boot with device that is an uh, likewise if you are using bare metal remove the installation media from the server the CD or DVD ROM or uh, pen drive which is connected to them and uh, start the mission properly now it, you will see the first initial first time booting screen of uh, ubuntu installation of your ubuntu server see booting levels are completed now start and mounting the points of the database and uh, initiating the target levels and the listening and uh, killing if any unwanted services of uh, initial processes and uh, see now cloud init job it's in a pre-networking it's verifying the IP addresses and all step by step all will be it will be displays you find out one by one if everything is done now we have a given a name as application server see now the server is showing that it's enough right mounting the unit for uh, core and the revision for the number it's saying and initiating the system run levels and 
while installation we have uh, chosen open ssh protocol that software also it is also completed and initiating the public and private keys over there that host mission keys and now it's, it will be reached the target level of uh, initiating of the screen it's initiating the first time screen it will be once it the all the processes are completed it may be differ and the differences of uh, the performance of uh, accurately come based on your system configuration like ram and memory process based on this it will give you a more performance and give you an output appropriately now once it is completed reached the level of cloud iphone init target hit enter where you will find out application server login where which is the name you have decided to your application server that application server and it will shows the name and here you will enter the user name and password of the user what you have created while login while installation of ubuntu see now it is authorized and uh, the user admin one I have given my installation and it's uh, given me the uh, details of the installation is completed successfully and access the user also that uh, here it's showing that uh, user prompt all right and now to run a command as an administrator as user root use sudo and command if you want to run the administrator command provides uh, activities to do in your system you have to define sudo space the command like uh, a, some installation of simple package apt iphone get install apache if i want to install a package i the says that uh, sudo but from the user prompt sudo space apt get used for getting the files to install in our system and space install and apache is the package name hit enter to install the apache and uh, replace with the apache with the application you want to install like mysql server mysql server c the here mysql the option is mysql iphone server hit enter to continue start with the installation of the mysql server likewise you need to know the package name and you will try to install in your uh, ubuntu server and if you want to install the desktop you will try to install gui from the prompt itself and you will get it all that's all for installation of the basic installation of the ubuntu 18 64 bit version thank you for watching this session thank you